it's definitely going to be a little bit difficult without this seal, but I think we'll be able to make it work eventually. I don't know if that's going to hold up. We'll work on that, but it gets a car mostly to where it needs to go. Challenge levels, because it wasn't easy enough the first time. Springs instead of wood and limit on road. Not to sound overconfident, but this doesn't seem that hard yet. We just put springs where wood used to be and either compress or contract it depending on what we need them to do. Like this one is going to compress just a little bit to push back against the ground, at which point the whole bridge is going to fall apart, but you see what I'm getting at. This is what we call a masterpiece, and we're under budget. Oh, I think it's going to make it. Oh, it was so close. You know what? I have an idea. What if we replace the road with reinforced road? We go over budget, but I bet it's actually going to hold up a lot better. Come on, car. You can do it. All oh, right. The whole thing needs a little bit of work. I guess logically, since it does actually reach all the way across with the road, we might as well just do it that way. But does it hold up? And how's that budget? That's not really going to fly. Does this make sense to anyone else? I need to figure out how these springs work a little better, but we're actually getting closer. What if we had 10% compression to a few key springs? That was actually better, believe it or not. I know it's kind of hard to see, but that was better. We're just under budget. I just added this piece that might make the bridge kind of hold up more. No, not really, but the bridge does hold up. That's a start. It turns out it's kind of hard to build a bridge out of just springs. My last noodle bridge kind of gave me an idea. Does it work if I... Nope. I think I've had my aha moment. If I put springs on the top, pulling the bridge back in, it helps to hold it together. So every spring along the top is going to be 10% stretch, and then it's going to suck it all back towards the anchor points. And eventually that might work. Well, it looks like we're going to build this bridge one piece at a time. We can get the car this far. It compresses the spring just enough to balance back out. And with a few well-adjusted springs, the car gets about this far. It's spamming this middle gap that's giving me the problems. Because the reality of it is, we're that close, but we're also that far away. Simply adding a road in between probably isn't going to work because it tears the bridge apart at that point. But I have a further idea. Now that I've added these stretched out springs on either side, watch what happens. It holds those ones together. So can we get a Away with something nope. like this maybe with a bit of adjustment that might actually hold things tight enough what about all of them at 100 stretched that definitely blows the springs apart but maybe if we use some reinforced road and here we go right let's turn the springs back down 70 percent seems to be the magic number slowly but surely i'm getting ever closer to an answer the car can almost make it up and over the budget is another story entirely but i do have a bridge that's almost sitting flat in the middle you see it's all about finding a balancing act with the springs so let's forget springs exist for a little while because that's a nightmare a new slope tanker instead of a van so this is going to be much heavier but i'm pretty sure i'll be able to find a stupid way to do this even with only a twelve thousand dollar budget attempt number one i'm not not exactly expecting any miracles, but you never really know. It's always the stupid ideas that work. That wasn't a stupid idea, but it also wasn't a good one. I have a feeling a lot of these levels are going to require things like this, where I need something stronger than wood but don't have steel. Probably still going to need a further upgrade. Actually, it's pretty close. It's just that transition isn't exactly seamless. After making a very minor adjustment and expecting a very minor difference, let's see what happens. Yep, alright, I think I see the problem. Well, let's try a redesign, because clearly this truck isn't made for launching off the end of a bridge without causing some damage. Uh, might need more of an arch, but this might also work, because sometimes these are really strong. This one isn't. Reinforced it with some wood above and below, and it's getting close. This might actually be it. We are a little bit over budget, so we'll try and trim some off, but I'm not optimistic. So here's where we're at with this one. Depending on what kind of road I use, the truck can almost make it across. The problem is just this one little piece. If I can make that piece stronger or find a better way to replace it, the truck can make it across, no problem. Alright, I think I'm onto something here. As long as I can brace it against the ground, the truck actually makes it a long ways across, and I'm under budget still by about $1,600. I've almost got a solution. Almost. We're way under budget, but we get a teeny tiny break right here and there so i'm gonna see if i could just kind of remove some of that you want to see my super cool solution to my big problem there was the one piece that kept breaking so i deleted that piece and now it doesn't break and the truck scoots across without problem see it's as easy as deleting your problems done next i need to create a bridge of steel but only using road so it's actually a road so it's actually a bridge of road and i can use reinforced roads so we're gonna do that really hope this stuff is stronger than i think it is but probably not We'll just keep adding road until this works. Like, I bet this disaster would work. It's way over budget, and you know what? It doesn't work that well. If I make the triangles as big as I possibly can, we're still under budget, and the truck gets a little ways out. 
but not quite enough to finish this one. So this is the part of the design where I start adding random things until something starts to actually work. And it's looking like a flat bridge might be the way to go. It's a little bit cheaper to build it this way because then I don't have to arch all the way across. It's just a matter of figuring out what works. We're making some progress. I extended my bridge down either side and that seems to hold it up a little better. And you'd think for a truck that floats halfway decently, it wouldn't be that hard to get it across. If I do put myself over budget by adding some of this stuff, look what happens. The truck cruises on across, but I'm $2,200 over budget and it breaks. After painstakingly replacing some of the reinforced road with regular road, we have it. We're just under budget, but this works. Probably not by much, that bridge probably wasn't very happy. Max stress, 97.5. Someone managed to do that for $5,000. They're a genius. 14 meter overpass. Challenge very large boat. I've always been good at the boat levels because generally they're not really much harder than something like this. We're $400 over budget right now, but I'm pretty sure something as simple like this will work. Yep, no problem there. We'll just replace some of the steel with wood. Everything gets to where it's going. And that looks something like that. Just these double triangle features. I needed two of them to replace the steel. That's strong enough for under budget. I could do that cheaper. I don't care to right now. Someone did it for $6,000. Checkpoints. Fewer static joints. I'm not really sure what that means. Maybe the anchor points. Because I think there is probably some over here. Still though, this shouldn't be too bad. Man's going to swoop across and touch that. Car's going to swoop up there and touch that. There will be a little bit of challenge at times on this one, but it shouldn't be anything outrageous. As long as I have my double triangles, I'll be just fine. So this is my immaculate design. So without further ado, let's just see what happens and then we'll make adjustments from there. Okay, we're still a little ways out. Actually connected a few things that needed to be connected and this is where we're at now. The car is looking good, the van is looking good, but it gets to about that point. It's the van that breaks it all so far. But I do still have $3,000 budget to work with, so I'm pretty optimistic this one won't be too bad. Alright, I got them mostly both across for only $650 over budget. A few small corrections in this one will be used. First of all, let's make sure the car is going to get where it's going without flipping over which is almost there. Even just doing this part, we're getting closer to the budget. I just need this stupid car to get over that little ridge. So I'm going to add a little bit of road for it because it needs the help. The car made it $500 over budget. Just need to shave a little bit out. That shouldn't be too hard. Deleted a random piece. Do you know where it came from? Neither do I. I don't think it matters at this point. This bridge is such a mess that I'm pretty sure it's going to be just fine. Oh, it wiggled there and it broke there, but we're close. Wow, you take one piece away and everything falls down. There it is. I was just deleting random pieces until it worked. Pretty crazy that the whole thing was held up by such a little amount of bridge. Look at some of these, they're tiny. The first drawbridge. Only one hydraulic and only eight roads. That's kind of a nightmare. Because eight roads is going to get you as far as... Oh, it gets all the way across, so it definitely has to be a drawbridge though. Unless we can drop it. We could definitely drop it. I'm not building a drawbridge. Hydraulics are expensive and I don't have money. This bridge design is going to be very simple. I have a $25,000 budget. Is something this rickety actually have a chance of working? Not quite yet. This might be the one, as long as the boat can actually get under my bridge, which it just scrapes by. And we're about seven, eight thousand dollars under budget. So as long as my little moped friend here doesn't collapse through the bridge, which he won't, we'll be good. Again, you could probably get way lower on the budget like other people probably have, but I'm not going to chase this one too hard. $4,499 is insane. Did someone actually go under? Yep. Someone actually raises the bridge out of the water to let it cross. That's one of my favorite things I've ever seen. Oh good, half budget and only seven roads. So it has to go all the way up and all the way back and I'm assuming there's only enough road to get it one way. It doesn't even give me enough road to go all the way across. It's just shy. So I'll do something kind of like that and hope the taxi can transition back onto that. And we're already out of budget. I don't even have any idea how we're going to do it. We might as well see how this works out. About what I figured, this one is very curious considering you don't even have enough budget to like build a very basic bridge. Something similar to this might be the answer in the end, but it's going to be very hard just to make a bridge that spans out for that gap, let alone holds up the car. So apparently it's got to be something like this. There's very few other options that are actually conceivably going to work. And that's not as far off as I thought it was going to be, but we've only got Just 700 more dollars. This one's going to be a very tedious balancing act. I can already feel it. Considering we're kind of close, but we're out of budget, I need to make minor, minor adjustments. I don't really understand how this works, but I'm not really going to complain because I think I just did it. All I did was basically move this triangle feature from here 
to where it is currently and that was enough to make it work. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to watch this go one more time and take my victory because I thought this one was going to be a nightmare. Apparently I could have also just done it like this. Literally just build the road and it's enough to support itself. My bridge was actually so good it did it at 88% stress. Rope support, fire truck going across or missing the balloon. I remember this one from before. Pretty sure I can make this one work without too much issue because we can use big triangles to hopefully grab kind of the center of the bridge and let's just see what this does before I get carried away down to 100% speed and yeah that's almost kind of what I figured I'm doing this on the first try and it's a challenge level. This one's gonna be fun. I've got to get the front end loader uh, pusher thing to the other side and there's no static joint on the rock down below. So eventually it's gonna look probably something like this. The bridge holds itself up. I think this thing's probably pretty heavy. I don't know the weight of it, but that might actually just work out the way it is. I only need to shave off $400. I'm either getting very lucky at this or the levels aren't as hard suddenly. I just removed the corner piece there. It almost cruises across no problem. And from here, it's just small adjustments like this until it works on budget. Kind of like that. All I had to do was remove this little nugget right here. Off it goes, easy peasy. And of course, a jump. There's always a jump. No steel. It's definitely going to be a little bit difficult without the steel, but I think we'll be able to make it work eventually. I don't know if that's going to hold up. We'll work on that, but it gets a car mostly to where it needs to go. We'll reinforce that road, and I think we're actually getting pretty close already. All right, if we use springs there instead, the thing actually holds up, launches the car pretty far. We could probably work with it from there. We've got the car about to where we want it. Now we just need to make sure the landing zone is going to accommodate. So car's going to jump off, hopefully landing about where I want it to. And pretty close, actually, for a guesstimate. So now I either reinforce it or turn it into a spring, which might give it just a little bit of give that it wants. Will it make it? Jump and bounce and so close. Maybe just one more spring. We're way under budget anyways. You know what? Let's just go ahead and add a whole bunch more springs. I'll absorb all that impact anyway. All that shock can just go into springs and not onto my poor bridge. There we go. Nice and easy. $17,000. This guy had the right idea though. He just jumped over the entire thing using looks like springs and wood. Yep, that would be probably easier, but that would take a long time to figure out.